you know this? It's a null set, right? This symbol for nothingness? Have you seen it anywhere recently? Maybe in a dream? <laughs> Not since high school math. Victoria needs your help. She's looking into those child killings again. That tunnel is... Couldn't deal with that. It's too intense. You learned a lot since then. You're, you're getting stronger. Am I? Stronger than you know. When I offered to teach you, I thought there would be enough time, but now I'm not so sure. You may have to face things that I'm not able to prepare you for. You'll be tested, all right, to the limit. We need your help, not just me, the others. very comfortable with this. We'll just sniff around for a few minutes, you know, try to catch a vibe. A vibe? We gotta kind of feel our way into these things. We can't really know what's gonna happen. So, I sensed an energy centered around the upstairs window. Well, what if she's home? Tell her you're reading the meter. Wouldn't I need, like, a jumpsuit or clipboard or something? I should have thought of that. You'll think of something. Marion, and this might sound kind of strange, but this is the house I grew up in, and I haven't been back since I was little, and I'm only in town for a couple of days, and my mom asked me if I would come by and check the place out, and she's not feeling well lately, so I was, I was just wondering, could I... Come around the front. So has it changed much? Oh, yeah, it was um, a different color. And we had the television over there. Oh. <laughs> That's my son, Adrian. It's a handsome little boy. He hated having his picture taken. Oh, he would not look at a camera. <laughs> you know, if a flash went off, he'd start screaming. My husband had to sneak up on him with a telephoto lens. <laughs> I was the same way. My mom said that she used to feel like a National Geographic photographer stalking some rare bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has the most amazing eyes. You can't really see in any of these pictures. No, I, I can. Hmm. They're beautiful. Even when he was a baby, I used to look in his eyes and feel like uh, there was this whole nother world in there. Do you mind if I go upstairs? Oh, I'd prefer it if you didn't go in there. Oh, it's just that this, this is my bedroom. All right, just don't touch anything, please. Okay. Sorry. Are you out of your mind? Oh, 
What are you people trying to pull? What gives you the right to invade my home? Are you okay? How did the glass break? Why did you make me come here? You and Elmer, what do you want from me? you about playing with broken glass. <laughs> Seriously, though, you shouldn't have let them drag you into this, especially after what happened in that tunnel. Yeah, but Elmer's right. If you have a gift, something, out, something that can help people, then you know, it's sort of irresponsible not to use it, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I just don't want to see you getting yourself hurt. We uh, almost lost you once. Marion, what you felt, maybe... Oops. She said self-consciously. Well, the cuts weren't too deep, so they should heal without any scarring. Thanks, Mark. What were you saying, Story? Just that maybe you picked up on the moment Adrian died. The word end? It's kind of literal, isn't it? I don't know what it was, but I also heard this weird machine and the horn. It could be Adrian's trying to lead us to his body. OK, <clears throat> I got to finish my rounds. I'm glad you brought her back. Thought you might be. Can I ask you a question? About Mark and me? It's not really working out. He likes you, you know. Not especially. I think he's just nice to everybody. You are a bad liar, Marion. Did he tell you the story about saving his dog's life? Mm-hmm. He definitely likes you. You're a cancer, right? Figures. Well, for you two, how come... You probably know what I'm going to ask you. <laughs> he's hard to get close to. I know he's an empath. I mean, what's that all about? But it's true. He can feel what you're feeling. But it's hard to tell what's going on inside him. Sometimes I felt like he wasn't even there at all. Really? As a woman, it's not a lot of fun when a man knows exactly what you're feeling. I mean, what's romance without a little mystery? Honesty? Then there was the other thing. Strange things would happen when we got close. Like once the power went out on the whole block. Well, is that really such a strange thing? But if the clock by the bed exploded. And then there were the birds. There were like a dozen sparrows flying around the room. Okay, that's a little strange. Yeah, the windows were all shut. Warren, you were in my 8 a.m. and my 10 a.m. A.m. Were you thinking about, are you going to be in all my classes? Not if you don't want me to. No, it's not that. I just, I mean, don't you have other stuff to do? A.M. Adrian Munoz. Of course, that little boy, I keep thinking about him, too. Wait, how did you know that I was... The signs. Well, you're right. I have been thinking about him. What do you know about him? Adrian, um, not much. Uh, how old was he when he disappeared? He was seven, I think, and that was three years ago. Seven. Three. Seven. And he had a lot of toys in his room. What color was his room? Um, sort of turquoise, I think. Turquoise? Hmm. Blue-green. Uh, Munoz. Uh, Moon. Yos. Yo-yos. Yo-yos. 
Blue moon? No, too obvious. Too obvious. Green moon. <laughs> yes? Thanks, good coffee. Now what? Signs are everywhere. You just have to decide which ones to follow. Look, what do you see? Um, a blue car. Toyota with out-of-state plates. The number on the plate, 73. Those are his numbers. Seven years old, three years ago, they had up to 10. Hmm. Uh, blue again, uh, uh, Toyota, toys. He had a lot of toys. Yes, there is a toy store, and I think it may be 10 blocks away. 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113. Well, this is exactly where we started. Well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, thanks for trying one. I really appreciate it. Just maybe I'm not... Crazy enough. Or something. They look so happy, don't they? Oh, my God. That's it. The logo, that's what I saw. The word end, it's the same typeface and everything. I was seeing through his eyes. He was looking at this sign. Well, not this sign, but one like it somewhere. It means that Adrian's still alive. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What is Enrico, anyway? They're a Dutch company. They just started a corporate awareness campaign. What do they make? I have no idea. But the only local address I could get for them was for the shipping warehouse. I really appreciate you doing this. Well, you couldn't go alone. It is a pretty grim part of town. Yeah, but maybe we should have asked the others. Why? Are you uncomfortable being alone with me? <laughs> of course not. There's nobody home. Do you hear that? No. That noise, that's what I heard in Adrian's room. If he was up there looking out of that window, then he would see exactly what I saw. Private property. It's condemned. Unsafe. Look, Marion. Where's the sign? But wait, we saw it, didn't we? We must have made a mistake. I'm not getting anywhere. What'd you expect to find anyway? I don't know. I'm just trying to feel my way into this. It doesn't make sense. Sometimes I wonder if any of this stuff we deal with makes sense. Well, you didn't feel that way a half an hour ago. Yeah, that was before you dragged me into this wasteland. We're lucky that the car's still here. What's wrong? I don't know. Look, look, I'm just not feeling too well, okay? Let's just get out of here. All right. Mark, look up at the window. What for? Just do it. I don't want to. No, you can't, can you? Neither can I. What are you talking about? Of course we can. We just... There's a force up there. Can you feel it? It's just... Oh, I'm getting a migraine. Damn it. I can hardly see. Oh, my God. You're bleeding. Okay. I have to go look. There's nothing there. I have to look. Mark! I like you. Most people never look twice. 